morning everyone um say this every time but the whole idea of the part community partnership is to be that um mechanism for people to input we've got over 100 people registered today so we're pretty pleased with that particularly new people within the community and voluntary sector that perhaps don't have other networks to go to so um we're really heartened by that to inform the future agenda you've each there's cards on the table so as christine and emily have said we're very much about having your views and inputting into what the community partnership does so if you've got any ideas or suggestions anything um like today's agenda is being structured by what people have said put them on there and we'll find a way for doing it including other innovative ways of um getting people's views yeah oh and yeah we, in previous um partnerships we've had little slots where people are giving up their own updates again if you if you want to do those and then, then let us know uh, just a very brief update on um representation a key focus of this partnership has been to appoint people no not perhaps not appoint or elect but to to find suitable people to go along to some of the key strategic groups um, and we've had a number of reports on that and they they go along to these meetings and I'm pleased to say today we we've almost filled all the key places that we um, that we have um, been looking for people for so we've got people on the ICS partnership board, the ICS um, leadership academy, safeguarding boards, health and wellbeing board and as Christine said Bob has recently joined the ICS prevention strategy work. Um, so the plan now is we're going to get those reps together and we're going to produce a summary report of the first few meetings that they've been to with the idea of sharing with you all the key developments and then for us to input through those reps. So we want to get lists of people that are interested in these themes so they can represent what you want them to say. Um, the one area which is pretty key to what is happening in Herefordshire at the moment is we have not found um, uh, someone to attend the Children's Safeguarding Board. So we are, we've tried a number of processes around that. So if anyone is interested, um, we have previously circulated information about the functions we're looking for, but I'd be delighted to talk to someone that um, has not only an interest in this, but could also perhaps represent a broader sector and not just their own organization, but it's such a key thing. It's great to see Daryl here today um, and other council officers and members and moving forward, it's a key area for the county. Um, so please please come and talk to me or Christine personally, because um, we feel that's a big gap we've got at the moment and we really need someone from the sector to go along. That's it for me. Thanks, Will. And, and we'll probably grow these, these roles as um, various boards and committees across the system are looking for voluntary sector input, because where we'd want to be is to, to make sure that the people who are on these boards and committees are really truly representing the sector in its widest sense and um, we're here to help that function work properly through HBOS to make sure that um, we're seeking the views of the wider sector for those reps so um, we'll probably continue bringing the updates on this every time we meet. 